Despite these very explicit uh, agreements, uh, we, ha we saw that the Chinese, in, we were all in the middle of COVID at that time, if you remember, uh, moved large number of forces in violation of these agreements uh, to the line of actual control. And uh, this once troops, and we responded in kind, and once troops were deployed very close up, which is very dangerous, uh, you know, it was likely a mishap would happen, and, uh, and it did happen. Uh, so there was a clash, and uh, a number of troops died on either side. Uh, and that has since, uh, uh, in a sense, overshadowed uh, the relationship. So it, until we are able to restore peace and tranquility on the border and ensure that the agreements which uh, we have signed up to are adhered, uh, it's obviously difficult to carry on with the rest of the relationship. Right now, both sides have troops who are deployed forward. Uh, and when I said 75% of it has been sorted out. I was, you know, I was asked in a way to quantify it to give a sense. It's only of the disengagement. So uh, the, that's one part of the problem. Uh, and the main issue right now is the patrolling. Once we deal with the disengagement, there is the larger issue, which is both of us have brought very large number of troops uh, up to the border. So there is what we call the de-escalation issue. Uh, and uh, uh, then there is the larger, the next step is really how do you deal with the rest of the relationship because right now the relationship is uh, very significantly uh, disturbed. President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have reached the important consensus that China and India are not rivals or threats to each other, but are partners in cooperation and development opportunities. It is normal for neighbors to have differences. The key is how to view, the ha view and handle them correctly. I am confident that we have enough wisdom and the capability to properly handle the differences and find a solution acceptable to both sides. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.